Hi everybody, welcome to Kitchen Table Gaming. I'm Brian David Marshall, this is my kitchen, and today we are gonna be cooking some food and playing some games. I've got some friends coming over, they're bringing some games, they're bringing some snacks, and we are gonna level up some tired gamer staples that we've all been eating for years. Sounds like that's our first guest, and he should have our first ingredient too. Hey, <laughs> I brought some uh, fancy organic chips. They're blue, hopefully that's nice enough. Yeah, I mean, these are definitely better than the greasy chips we used to eat. And uh, I think we can level these up and make them even a little bit fancier. We're gonna take these beautiful chips that Nate brought and we're gonna use them to make sushi grade nachos. So that's gonna involve beautiful blue fin tuna and a Japanese inspired guacamole with avocados, shiso leaf, and some fresh wasabi. We're gonna start out making the guacamole for our sushi grade nachos. We're gonna open up two ripe avocados and discard the seed and scoop out the insides and get those all mashed up pretty well. We're gonna chiffonade some shiso leaf and some green scallions. We're gonna dice those, we're gonna to toss that all together and then we're gonna add the zest of a lime and then we're gonna add the juice of the lime, and then we're gonna use fresh wasabi and get that all nice and mashed. We're gonna dollop that on a chip, we're gonna put the tuna on top of that, and boom, sushi grade nachos. Hey Paul. Hey Brian. What's going on? What are those? Sushi grade nachos. The chips were my idea. Please tell me we're gonna play Judge Dredd. Why? So you could sit in the Grand Hall of Justice all game like old times? Like old times, I brought cookie dough. Let's make a big cookie. Uh, well, if it was old times, we'd probably just eat the cookie dough right out of the package. Why don't we uh, level up the chocolate chip cookie into something with a kick for late night gaming session? We're making double espresso, double chocolate cookies. So it's flour, baking soda, cocoa powder, obviously we have sugar, eggs, vanilla, and then two different types of espresso and we take one and a half cups of sugar and we cream that with two large eggs in the blender until it starts to get a little light in color. And then it's time for our dry ingredients. We get that all mixed up and we put in two tablespoons of finely ground espresso powder and one teaspoon of pure vanilla extract. We scoop these out and then we're gonna push into each of these, into the tops, a uh, handful of whole espresso beans. And that's really gonna give this that punch. There we go, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna put these in the oven, 325 degree oven for 15 minutes. Then we're gonna try and let them cool before we eat them. I call them my double espresso cookies. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah, I love the espresso flavor, it's good. What about my cookie dough? What am I gonna do, eat it on the way home? Anthony. Hey, Brian. How's it going? Pretty good. Awesome. I hope I'm not too late. Uh, I brought my game, Fun and Play. Oh, no. Perfect timing. I just whipped up some snacks. Oh, yeah. Try my chips. Try my cookies. That's amazing. Is there cookie dough inside this? It's yeah. Like, it's like cookieception. That's awesome. <laughs> wow. Uh, well, I didn't bring any food, but I did bring Fun and Play for us to play. Awesome. Can you uh, set it up and show us how, how it works? Yeah, absolutely. So the way Fun and Play works is... Um, you're gonna have one judge each round and they're the employer. Then everyone else is gonna get dealt four qualifications and they have to use all the qualifications in their hand to describe why they're the best for a job. So let's say you're looking for someone to fill your superhero job. Uh, I would use all four cards in my hand to describe why I'd be the best superhero. Uh, well, my sad childhood, uh, when, I was a, when I was a child, my parents were killed in a tragic, tragic accident. So I decided to use my trust fund to buy a utility belt, hire a sidekick, and now I'm Batman. Okay, I need a useless assistant. Oh, so we're gonna have to use all the cards that <laughs> are. I already have this job? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so what was your inspiration for making this game? Well, um, I've been playing a lot of party games at the time and I decided I wanted to play a party game with a lot more interaction. I'd felt that the party games I was playing, you didn't really have control over your, your destiny really. Like you just play a card blindly and someone has to guess that. So it's a storytelling game. Yeah, absolutely. You're supposed to use all of your resources, basically your cards in your hand, to tell a story about someone, yourself, really. Did you oh. just take Sledding? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Nate, what do you got for me? Well, monsieur, you will notice at first that I have a French accent. Assistants cost money. What if that assistant had its own sidekick? <laughs> that makes no sense! <laughs> so, um... I heard that you need someone who can work in an office, but that's gonna be really hard because I can't really type too well. <laughs> uh, but let me tell you what I can do. Um, 
Uh, I just would be in love with this type of position in all the right ways, if you get what I mean. As enticing as that is, I think I'm actually gonna oh! go with the French German accent. Uh, Vive la France! <laughs> So now uh, the way it works is you'd give this job to Nate, and Nate uh, got a job, so he got a point. Yes, I am the useless assistant. Ah, I've always wanted this job. <laughs> so how did you guys get to know you? You guys seem like old New York buddies. Uh, we, we've known each other forever. Uh, actually, I mean, spent a lot of time together when we were unemployed. And, uh, you know, we play a lot of games. Playing games was just a, a great way to spend time when you didn't have a lot of money. Hey, Paul, do you remember some of those marathon Judge Dredd sessions back in the day? Yeah, we used to play 20, 25 hours at a time. You know, my girlfriend would leave, go come back, and we'd still be playing. We were so hungry. I, the five of us pulled our money, five of us, and we came up with like less than $13 to us. <laughs> we went to Western Beef and bought horrible, disgusting things. Imagine you have a frozen pizza, right? And you have hot dogs that you've nuked and you're rolling it up like a map <laughs> and eating it. Don't, don't forget, there's red onions. All right. I gotta say, I, I, I think I've probably actually had worse meals than that. Yeah, it doesn't really I, sound that bad. No, yeah. it, was, it was horrible. Were you a hobo? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I think I could eat that easy. But how bad could it be? I'll show you. Am I, am I being punk right now? Did you? No, you should, this is absolutely. Does he still eat this? This stuff is like in his fridge? Still? Yeah, it's prepared oh every day. Oh my god. Fresh. Oh god. <laughs> is this a setup? <laughs> that looks worse. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is actually a lot worse than I thought it would look. Well, I, I guess I would put my foot in my mouth. Or rather... Hey, wait, we can do a little bit better than that. We don't have to eat like this anymore. Okay, we're gonna make a sausage and onion tart on a crust of puff pastry. So we're gonna take these sausages out of their casing and we're gonna render them down. Then we're gonna take these onions and slice them up and caramelize them with some uh, king sugar root beer and maybe a little bit of thyme. Uh, we're gonna get everything onto a crust of puff pastry. And then uh, we're gonna top it with uh, grated Gruyere cheese and grated Parmesan cheese. It's gonna be delicious. It's gonna be much better than a pizza hot dog. We're gonna start out by thinly slicing about a pound of sweet onion and removing a pound of sausage from its casing. And we're gonna get those going in two separate frying pans to saute them. And then once they start cooking, we're gonna add this root beer, which we're gonna use to caramelize down these onions. When the sausage is rendered down and the onions have really reduced and started to turn brown, you add the sausage meat into the onions, finish it off, and then we add a little bit of thyme into that. And that's really all we have to do there. And what we're gonna do is put this all on a bed of puff pastry. You slice it out into rectangles, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna dock, which means just poke holes in it with a fork, the sections where we want our topping. And so we're going to put the onion mixture down on top of that, and then we're going to grate fresh Parmesan cheese on top of that. And then we're going to put some egg wash around the edges, and we're going to put that in the oven. It's going to rise up around the sides, and we're going to have this delicious sausage and onion tart. Looks really good. Can we just dig in now? Not quite yet. Wait a second. How many of those did you make? What are you up to? I only made one. I'm raising the steaks. We're going to play some Judge Dredd. And the winner gets to eat that. Everyone else is eating one of those. <laughs> you suck. <laughs> Brian, show us how Judge Dredd is played. Who are you from first? Cards that he's getting out. <laughs> you made your hot dogs and you'll sleep with them. And roll this die. Judge Dredd is with you. The perp gives in without a fight. Please tell me someone has the FU card. No. I win the good pizza. So what's on this again? Uh, our onions caramelized in root beer, uh -huh. sausage, and then uh, Gruyere cheese all on puff pastry. Wow. Wow. I thought it would be really, really sweet from the root beer, but it's actually like, it's awesome. Do we have to sing the <laughs> song? Well, he won good. the game, you have to sing the song. Who's the best Judge Dredd player in the land? Nate is. Let's give him, give him a hand. hand. Is there anybody going to eat that? No. No! Yeah, that's... Mm -hmm. Can't let good food go to waste now, can we? Oh, it's so soggy. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
<laughs> Here's your animated chip. Exactly. It's not that bad. <laughs> <laughs> you can sell that! Just sell that! <laughs> Frozen garbage. Oh, and it out. reeks! It's I'm actually nauseous. Wow. Thanks for watching Kitchen Table Gaming. Uh, thank you to uh, Nate and Paul for bringing food. Thank you to Anthony for bringing Fun Employed. And you know, you can get all the recipes on our website and uh, subscribe to our channel. Maybe we'll make more of these. <laughs>